Welcome back everyone. Here we are doing the new chapter Banking and the Management of Financial Institution. And in this chapter, we expect to see that how can we manage some important transactions in financial and especially banks. We can start the analysis by stress on the bank balance sheet. And in this case, we will already start by liabilities, not assets. Why we are doing something like this? Because liabilities represent source of funds, and assets represent uses of these funds. And for sure, we should determine the source of funds before using it. In case of liabilities, we will concentrate more about some four components. These components represent the most important ones. Checkable deposits means deposit by individuals or firms or other institutions in banks. And for sure, this is liabilities for the bank. Non-transaction deposits. This is another deposit. The difference between the first and second, the first could be changed in any time without any restrictions. However, the second is not. After this, we have borrowings, which means the bank is borrowing from other banks or other institutions. Maybe also this is borrowings from the central bank or the Fed in case of USA. Finally, we can see that the capital or bank capital, the money invested in the bank by the owners. These liabilities or these sources should be divided into some categories in case of assets. First, preserves. These represent the cash and vaults for the bank. Later we'll know that why we call these reserves not cash. Second item is cash items in process of collection. This is related to the cash in the way for deposit in the bank. One clear example of this is a cheek. The bank is collecting from another institution and this process taking time until this cash is deposited inside the bank vault, we call this cash item in process of collection. Deposit at other banks. If our bank is depositing money at other banks, so we call this is deposit at other banks. Securities. Bank can purchase securities like stocks, bonds, treasure belts, and so on. All of these represent assets for the bank. Loans. Providing loans from our bank to others, including individuals, institutions, banks, and so on. All of these assets. Plus all of this, we could see other assets, which represent anything else like building, land, cars, buses, furniture, and so on. This is an example of the balance sheet of commercial banks, case of USA in 2014, and we can see the percentage of asset and liabilities items in the side of liabilities, we can see checkable deposit represent 11%. 
non-transaction deposits 47% the most important large denomination represent 11% borrowing and bank capital they are lower borrowings represent 20% bank capital 11% in case of assets we can see that reserves and cash items represent 19% securities again 19 13 for US government agency 6 for state and local government loans divided between commercial and industrial 12 real estate 25 consumer 8 interbank the loans between banks 1% others 7% other assets represent 9% the total is 100 now let's start with the basic banking process someone is going to deposit money in the bank and assume that we have the following the rule is bank should keep reserves by 100% from a checkable deposit in the first stage when the consumer or depositor is going to deposit $100 in what we call first national bank this is an example of any bank Assets will increase as cash by 100. Checkable deposit will increase by 100. After this directly, this cash should transmit it to be reserves, which means we transfer it to another account, we call it reserves. What could happen to the check deposit if, when a bank reserves additional deposit, it gains an equal amount of reserves? When it loses deposit, it loses an equal amount of reserves. To explain this, assume that someone is already deposit money through cheek to be collected. Checkable deposit in liabilities will increase and cash item and process of collection will increase by the same amount. In this example, it is $100. For first bank, when they collect this money from the second national bank, reserves will increase by 100 in the first bank and reserves will decrease by 100 in the second bank. At the same time, checkable deposit will decrease by 100 in the second bank because the person writing the check allowed for their checkable deposit to be decreased. How can the bank is making profit? Bank can make profit by investing money. Investing money means using a part of a checkable deposit in providing loans to earn interest on these loans or lending interest rate or by purchasing securities. When they are purchasing securities, they can earn profit in case of stocks and they could get interest or return from purchasing Bonds. In this case, we assume that the required reserve became just 10%. In this case, the required reserve should decrease from 100 to 10. 
and the difference 90 represent excess reserves this could be used by the bank and we can see to the right hand side the second table this excess reserves used by bank to provide loans and we can change the required reserves from 100 to become only 10 to be totally accurate in liquidity management and the rule of reserves assume that we have these two cases the first case the first bank to the left hand side this bank has in liabilities 100 deposits and 10 for banks these sources divided between reserves as 20 loans 80 securities 10 to the right hand side deposit 90 and bank capital is 10 the total 100 divided between reserves 10 loans 80 securities 10 What could happen if there is short fell by 10, which means some of the depositor, they withdrew money equal 10. To the left hand side, there is no problem because reserves will decline from 20 to 10, deposit will decrease to became 100 to the right hand side if reserve is decreased by 10 reserves will be zero and this represent a very dangerous case for the bank with no liquidity To solve this problem of liquidity, bank has many different ways to raise funds. One of this is borrowing. This borrowing could be from any other bank. We can see to the right hand side, borrowing increased by 9 and this exactly the increase in reserves. Why we are looking for increasing reserves by 9 here? because we assume that required reserves is 10% from deposit. If you multiply 90 deposit by 10%, it is 9. Second way is to sell securities. If you're not looking for borrowing, we can sell part of securities so securities will decrease from 10 to 1 and the value which means the difference 9 will be in reserve another option available here is to borrow from the federal reserve or central bank so to the right hand side we can see borrow from fund or federal reserve at the same time, reserves will increase by now. Finally, thank you very much.